Good morning, guys. We're just getting started uh, back up here. Well, up here in uh, I think it's Springdale or something like that. Uh, Springfield. I don't know. Uh, Ohio, just outside of Dayton, Ohio. We are uh, just making sure all of our cars that we loaded yesterday are still sitting pretty. Nothing has moved. None of the straps have come off. No one has messed with them overnight. So we are, it's actually pretty late today. I was trying to do an update on my computer that wasn't, uh, wasn't going through, but uh, it's like 10 o'clock right now. So we're gonna get down. We have three drops today. We got two in Knoxville, one in Morristown. We're gonna try to get them all off and get home today. Hopefully tomorrow they give us a pretty good load and we can roll quick in the morning. So let's uh, let's get rolling and I will see you guys as we drive. Let's go. All right, it looks like it's gonna be a rainy day on the way back down today. Just got ourselves some fuel and some coffee. And from here, should just be a straight shot all the way in. I don't foresee, I'll set the stuff down. I don't foresee much of a, uh, but I don't, I don't foresee having to stop anywhere else on the way down. So we should be set the whole rest of the day. Got about six, six and a half hours to drive to get down to Knoxville, which, oh, shouldn't be all that bad and uh, hopefully it is Sunday so hopefully roads will be nice and thin there won't be much traffic and we won't have to deal with backups or accidents so let's get rolling I'll see you as we go right here it's actually to make the left hand turn you're actually kind of turning back in a little bit it's not a perfect 90 degree turn but yeah the back end of the trailer or the trailer itself it dog tails or dog tracks completely over the uh completely over the end of the, completely over the road right there and then for here we just turned into this very last driveway and they got a stone uh, kind of like driveway area out back. Swing it wide because it is tight. And wow, they made it even tighter by putting these cars right here. So, there we go. Make sure you don't hit nothing. Take it slow. Watch both mirrors. And welcome to the life of hauling cars. Uh, at this point, don't try to hustle around these cars around this turn right here. When, when, you're, when you get into a place where it's tight like this, just take it slow, slowly crawl around. You don't want to have any issues. But they got a Hyundai parked right here. Normally, I try to park on that, those stones right there just simply so that way people can still get around me. But because they have a car parked right there, it looks like I'm going to be blocking off this road. 
and they'll just have to deal with it. But uh, yeah, this this place isn't bad. Take three cars and drive them across, get them signed for if they're open. I don't know if they are. It is a Sunday, so we will see in just a second. All right, so I was right. First dealership does get these bottom three. It'll be nice and easy. Just got to raise that one up a little bit. This one, I got it pinned to where that part of the deck is still right up there by that front tire. I just got to raise the middle up and then uh, first got to start by raising the whole top deck. But we'll get these things dropped real quick. Drop this top deck all the way back down. This dealership here, um, normally if they are open, you park the cars right over there. I don't know if you can see that little Honda flag right there. There's a whole row of parking spots right there. They're like two or three deep, if I remember correctly from last time I was here. But you just drive across the little roadway right there between these two dealerships. This is Hyundai, that's, uh, that's Honda. And uh, pull them over there and then have someone sign for them. Um, they didn't used to have this building here. So this is even tighter of a turn. I don't know how long ago was they put this in. But like I said, it has been a while since I've delivered here. Um, the Honda cars themselves have been very sporadic on if I get those loads this year. And the ones I have been getting are usually going to far East Tennessee, Johnson City, Kingsport, Morristown area, or down to Chattanooga. So I haven't been coming to this dealership all that often, but it's fun to be back here. They've always been good to me. Have never really had much of an issue here. Now, the Acura dealership that I'm going to next I can't say the same about that one. That one has almost always caused me some sort of an issue. Um, for some reason, the guy that checks the cars in, you can call and call and call and call, and it will take him 45 minutes to come outside and check them in. I don't know why it is that way, but it has been that way every time I've gone there to deliver, and they don't seem to care. So hopefully we can get these in over there today and no issues, but let's go ahead and get these things dropped and I will see y'all in just a minute. All right, it's been probably 12, 15 minutes or so. Got these all over there, got them all parked and uh, gonna head on down to Harper, Acura. I'm really hoping another problem day like it has been well, literally pretty much every time I've ever gone there. But, uh, open, get through nice and easy. Yeah, it took me 20 minutes to get delivered. So, we're gonna head on over there, slowly feed ourselves around the corner of the building right here. Hopefully, uh, or just gotta slowly feed ourselves around the corner of the building right here. Gonna watch that turn, keep an eye on the trailer, make sure we don't hit nothing. Stay safe, and, uh, head on the rest of the way into the other side of Knoxville. So, see you guys. All right, so we just got over here to Knoxville, uh, the other side of Knoxville. We gotta drop our, uh, these three Acuras off. They're getting three, the other dealership got three, and Honda of Morristown gets three. Um, drop these all off, they go across the street right here. Normally, we park them right there at the uh, Harper Collision Center but the gate's locked, so we're not gonna bother putting them there. But I will say, I don't know, this is an Integra, I'm guessing. I'm guessing like an Integra Type R or something. But yeah, Integra Type S. Pretty, uh, pretty badass little car. I like it. Um, would not pay the, I think it's like 42 or $47,000 MSRP for it. That's, uh, that's above what I'd ever be willing to pay for a, well, really any Acura at the end of the day. But uh, either way, I'm gonna go ahead and drop these three off real quick. Head on up to Morristown. Morristown's a simple one. Get right in there. You guys have seen me unload there before. We'll go do that one, and then we're heading home for the day. So, see y'all in just a minute. All right, just got this one delivered. It took us about another, those three vehicles, 15 minutes to the dealership. And we are on our way over, I'm gonna go stop at the truck stop, because I'm gonna end up having to do my 30 minute reset before I get over to Morristown. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and run over there, get these last couple delivered, 
and get on home. This whole turn would have taken me right around 30 hours total to load these up, get them up to uh, Ohio, and get back down here to deliver. So not a bad turn. This pays $5,200 total to me, well, to the truck, and uh, that's not bad. I'm halfway to my weekly goal of 10,000 bucks. So hopefully we can get one more turn this week and keep on going. I'll see you guys over there in, uh, I'll see you guys up in Morristown. Just a bit. Alrighty, just got up here to our final delivery on the day. Um, been another good day. Yesterday was, today was, um, just gonna be dropping these three vehicles right here. Uh, drop box right up there at the side of the building. We're here at Morristown Honda. Um, this place is a pretty decent one to deliver to as well. There's a few of these places that I have issues with, like I told you with Harper, but this one isn't that bad. But this load on the ground right here paid me like just shy of 2,500 bucks. The other one paid me just over $2,600. Like I said, it's been a great start to the week. This is day three on the week. Um, got these things on the ground and we should be able to do one more full turn of these and put ourselves up and over the $10,000 mark to finish out, get, well, almost finish out the end of the year. We got one more week of driving left this year, and then next year is the start of a new one. But these right here, I will say, uh, on these Hondas Accords, or on the Honda Accords, if, you, uh, if you're ever running these, I normally don't ever have to move this but I'm actually in, you can see right there, I'm in hole three, simply because when I did this before and I was in hole, uh, hole five like I normally am, when the strap came up, the little hook on this side was right under the fender right there, and, or right under the wheel well, and I really didn't want to do any damage, so I moved it for this time, and uh, it came out pretty easily here. We are about, 25, 30 minutes from my house. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these off and I'm gonna go home and have a nice steak dinner. I hope you guys are as well. But uh, I'm gonna let you guys go here. We'll see what our load is tomorrow. It is Sunday, so I don't have anything yet. But uh, hopefully it'll be something decent. I'm probably just gonna get up and start heading down towards West Point. Get a nice load out of there, heading back north like I normally do. And I will see y'all in the morning. Morning guys, we are just getting on the road it is seven o'clock in the morning I'm gonna go make it on down to west point today I'm gonna go grab this load or go grab a load and hopefully have something heading back up towards ohio west virginia that would be awesome if we can do that um that's the run i like doing so hopefully fingers crossed they got some work going up that way but if not i'll let you know but let's go ahead and jump on the road start making some miles and Make it on down to West Point. I'll see y'all in just a minute. Morning, guys. It is brisk this morning. We started out yesterday, and it was in the 70s when we loaded this load up. <coughs> I think it was like 68, 70-ish when we put these cars on, and this morning it is 28 degrees. So a little bit of a change in weather, but uh, we are on our way back up to Ohio going to uh we have about 400 miles to go uh to our first drop going to cincinnati area so it's not a great paying load but we'll get it up there get it delivered and uh hopefully get something decent coming back um don't know what we have but hopefully they'll get something over today because i'll be unloaded by like three o'clock in the afternoon and i really don't care to wait 48 hours for a load like i did two weeks ago up in uh west virginia so this is what we got on. Just a simple nine car load, um, nothing major. Our tallest vehicles are gonna be right here, the Telluride over Telluride. That's right at 13.6, just kind of flat loaded everything else to the same height. But uh, yeah, pretty easy load. We're gonna get it up there, get paid. It's almost time to go home for the Christmas holiday. I hope you guys are gonna make it as well. Um, I'll probably be home Thursday. That is the intention, but uh, we got 29 hours left on our logs. Let's go use them up and let's continue making money this week. I'll see y'all as we get going. Well, as you guys can tell, we're getting 
getting into Chattanooga. Getting here a little bit later than normal. I didn't expect the traffic to be this bad. It's like 9.30 in the morning. Kind of figured it would, uh, it would have already thinned out. That's why I slept in a little bit longer because usually if I, if I leave out first thing in the morning from Calhoun at like 6.37, I'll, I'll roll right through Chattanooga, but then I'll get into uh, Knoxville, and that'll be bad traffic. So I was like, oh, I'll leave out at like 8 o'clock, and then I thought, oh, well, that'll get me into, uh, what's it called? It'll get me into Chattanooga traffic. So I ended up rolling out like 8.45-ish, almost 9 o'clock, figuring this will all be cleared out, and obviously, as you can tell, we are right back in and we're going but as you can tell we're right back in it so I don't know hopefully uh, hopefully it clears up here in just a minute as we get around this bend this is right where uh, 24 and 75 come together I'm hoping once we get past the uh, on ramp up here in about a half mile it'll really start to thin out and if so that'll make life nice and easy and we'll just continue to uh, Ohio but uh, yeah let's uh, let's try to get through this and if I see an accident or something I will show you guys what caused the backup but I'm just assuming it's probably just the I-24 and I-75 traffic merging together right here in Chattanooga okay, so as you can tell that was exactly what the issue was just a lot of traffic merging into the same little spot uh, where I-24 and I-75 come together all righty we finally made it up here into ohio gonna drop off just two cars coming here to batavia then we got to go to the top side of cincinnati and then over to fairfield or yeah i think it's fairfield ohio to drop the last couple but for this tour we're just dropping these first two right here it won't take but a couple minutes and then we'll be back on the road which is good well, our next load we just got it dispatched over it is on the west coast of michigan so not real thrilled about running over there but uh either way it's a good paying load and we'll get it on probably first thing tomorrow morning and finish out our week so let's get these things off and i'll see y'all all right we are just getting over here to uh king's auto malls on the north side of cincinnati um it I'm assuming this place is a uh, is like one owner owns all the car dealerships in here. They might not. I don't really pay much attention to uh, to the actual names of each dealership, like the owner of them. But normally, it seems like when you go to a place that's got 15, 20 dealerships all in one giant area, they they tend to be owned by one. Alrighty, so these aren't all owned by one person i saw some jeff Lylers. there's a king's right there that's uh mccluskey i don't even know who the kia one is but uh yeah so it's definitely just a whole bunch of different owners wasn't uh wasn't one really really rich person but here they are getting these four right here and uh it won't take me but a couple more minutes to get down i already unstrapped this one and then i'll just drop this all down unstrap that top deck put them all in we put them in over there on the uh on the side and uh hopefully won't take but a couple minutes to get them signed for and get us back on the road so let's uh, let's get these things offloaded and i'll see y'all in a second Alrighty, just got here to our last dealership for the night it was like 17 miles up the road not too far of a drive but i gotta move the uh top deck over here to connect to the back of the trailer. But uh, dropping the three here, won't take long. We'll be uh, heading on up to Michigan. I'm hoping to make it into Finley tonight. And if I can get in there, it's got a real nice hotel. I like to stay right there at the Drury Inn. But uh, this dealership, I'll show you in a second. If you ever come here, we just park right here on the front lane. You see the Kia dealership right there. And then when you go to leave, I usually pull forward and then start backing up swing the trailer right there and then pull back out not a bad dealership to uh to go to it's actually 
for, for not having space on the lawn. It's actually pretty decent to get in and out of, which I like. And uh, I get the last three cars here. Hopefully we can get this thing a bath. I was gonna do it yesterday, but I knew I was coming up here and it had snowed. But look at this thing. She is covered in salt and getting gross. So hopefully we can, after this next load, get back south and get this thing washed because I don't like my truck looking like this. Alrighty, we just got to our hotel here in a town in Ohio that I am not even going to attempt to pronounce the name of the ho or of the town. Um, we're just we're at 75 and I think it's 69 or something heading up towards West Michigan um, at the Holiday Inn Express over here. Pretty nice place, but I think uh, this little setup they have back here is pretty cool. I'm uh, I love when towns do this. My town does something just like this at uh in east tennessee there and i think uh all this kind of stuff is really cool for the kids and whether you drive through or that's a walk through i don't know it actually looks like a walk through it looks like walk through right there so yeah pretty sweet little thing that they got going on here but we are done for the day we are going to head on in go get our uh go get some sleep grab some dinner and see what tomorrow brings hopefully there's no snow up there in west michigan as i say it's like midwest michigan i don't even know what you would call that over there my first time heading that direction so that'll be cool new little area to grab some cars out of i don't know if it's a Mannheim or what i can't find like a truck parking area it looks like it's an auction but i can't find uh like the entrance gate or anything like that so it might be like a mom and pop auction or maybe it's like a storage yard for CarMax. I don't know. But we'll find out tomorrow when we get over Good there. Good morning, guys. We are just getting on the road here. Doing our logbook right now. Just walked down to her oil, or checked our oil, and just did the walk around in the truck. Now I'm just finalizing the login so we can head on up the road. What do we have left? 233 miles to go. Well, I set my arm on the steering wheel. It's probably shaky. Sorry about that. Um, 233 miles left to go to get on up to, uh, I don't even know what the name of this place is that we're going to. Let's see if it'll say, um, Door Township, Michigan. Yeah, I don't know if it's like a Carmack staging yard or a, like a Carvana place or if it's an auction. There it doesn't look like there's a gate to get in. It looks like you just pull in on a road. So my tires are filling up. Sorry. Um, and, uh, I don't know, I don't know how we get in there to get the car, so I'm going to go ahead and call United Road, see if my dispatcher can't get me some information on this load, let me know, uh, how to get in this place and how to get these cars picked up. Not a bad pan load, pays 3000 bucks back down to Tennessee. It's only eight units because there is two 1500s on the load, so it's a bigger load, but either way, we're gonna go ahead and make it work, and I will see y'all when we get down there, or when we get up there. It is uh, warmer this morning than it was yesterday. It's 33 degrees out, so we're letting the truck warm up. We're getting everything going, and we're gonna hit the road. So I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. I'm gonna finish logging in, and I will uh, see you guys on the road. Let's go. What's up, guys? I'm gonna make this one uh, short and sweet. You can probably tell by my voice that I got sick yesterday and i'm trying to make it home for christmas um i'll show you what the load looks like here in just a second <clears throat> and uh we're gonna make it back um try to get back to the family and do christmas we'll drop this one off probably uh on tuesday after our christmas break but here's what we got on but just put this whole load's pretty small a nice little uh Mitsubishi Eclipse uh, SUV Challenger over a Trex. And then I just flat loaded the two pickup trucks up here. Literally just lowered that one down as low as it would go over that car. Um, just cause I didn't, I was, wasn't was feeling good. So I just brought it as low as I could. So that way I knew everything made height. This is, this is the tallest unit on this entire load. It's at 13 foot. But you can see right over top of a, a Camry, 
then we have a Forte behind it, and then we have an LT1 Camaro that this thing sounds amazing. If I could drive a Camaro and be comfortable in them, I would buy one of these. This thing is loud and throaty, so fun little load. <clears throat> fun little load to put on it was actually at a really cool auction up there in west michigan uh, america auction or something like that uh very nice people there very easy to find the cars took me all about an hour and a half to pull all my cars and about 45 minutes to put them on so i'm gonna go home i'm gonna see my family for christmas i hope you guys get to see yours as well i hope everybody gets to make it home has a great christmas and i will see you on uh tuesday i'll start making videos again but until then guys i love you be safe out there and i'll see you on the next one bye